Hi guys, Miss Hennebry. Uh, today we're going to be talking about percent proportions like we've done in the past two videos, um, except for this time we're going to be finding the whole. Alright, our first problem is 40 is 32% of what number? So like we've done in the past, we know that 32% is out of 100, so we put our 100 down here on the whole amount, and then 32 is out of 100, so we have that first part set up. And then we've got 40 is that percent of what number? So since we don't know what number and it's the of, then that's going to be our variable and our unknown. And then we already know that the part is 40. Okay, now that we so have we our um, word ratio set up with our proportion table, I'm going to go ahead and write it as a proportion. So we would have 40 over n is equal to 32 over 100. Then from there, we're going to do our cross products. So we know that 40 times 100 is 4,000, and that's equal to n times 32, which is 32n. And then our next step is to divide both sides by 32. And this cancels out to get us 1. And 4,000 divided by 32 is 125. So basically what that's saying is that 40 is 32% of 125. Okay, here's the answer to number two. 24 is 8% of what number? So you should have known that you have 100 for the whole part of the percent. We're talking about 8%, so therefore our 8 goes over 100 here. We know that we're talking about of what number and what means x or n, so we have our n in the, in the of part, and we're talking about 24 is the part that we know. So you should have your proportion written out as 24 over n is equal to 8 over 100, and then once we get there, I mean you guys have done this before, you should know, all you're going to do is cross multiply and divide. So we've got 8 times n, which is 8n, 24 times 100, which is 24 times 100. Then you multiply it out, you get 8n equals 2400. Divide both sides by 8, and then again, remember this can't stop to give you 1. And then 2400 divided by 8 is 300. Then you just kind of look back and decide, does that make sense? You're talking about 24 being a portion of 300. That's a small portion. So 8 is a small portion of 100, so if you kind of look at it that way, you know that it makes sense. If you would have done your multiplication or your division wrong and gotten 30 here, like I did the first time I did it, you would have seen that 24 out of 30 would have been way too big. So as long as you go back and check it that way, you can check to see if it's reasonable. All right, guys, we're on to example number three. It says Mrs. Wright used 75% of the copy paper for the semester exam. If she used nine reams of paper, how many reams were there at the beginning? So we know already here's our percent, 75%. And we know we write a percent is that number out of 100. So we have 75 over 100. Okay? And we're saying that she used nine reams of paper, but we want to know how much she started with. So what she started with at the beginning is going to be her whole amount. So this is going to be your unknown or your n. And then the part that she used is going to be nine. So now that we have it set up in our nice pretty table, you're going to take that and you're going to write your proportions. So that would be 9 over n is equal to 75 over 100. Okay, and then again, just like every other time we've done this, you're going to cross multiply and divide. So 9 times 100 is equal to n times 75. And then 9 times 100 is 900. And then our last step is to multiply, I'm sorry, to divide by 75. And our final answer is going to be n is equal to 12. And again, if you think about it, 75% is, is a very large amount. And 9 and 12 are pretty close. Um, so... If you have any other questions or you're not sure, write them down on your paper and ask us tomorrow or pause and rewind the video. If you're ready to move on, pause and um, let's move on to number four.
All right, so you should have done number four. Let's go ahead and check our answer. So what they're saying is that at the local hospital, 40% of the doctors are female. So we know, again, that 40% can be written as 40 out of 100. 100 is our whole of the percent, and then 40 is our part. Then they're saying that if there are 34 women doctors, how many doctors, how many total doctors are at the hospital? So we don't know how many are there in total, so that's going to be our variable of n, and we know that the part is the women doctors. Okay, so that's 34. So from here, we're going to take our table and we're going to set up our proportion. So it'll be 34 over n is equivalent to 40 over 100, which we have here. And then after that, again, I think this is the ninth time that we've done it. You guys know we cross multiply. So we have 34 times 100, which I have here, 34 times 100, n times 40, which is 40n. And then when you multiply it out, we get 40n equals 3400 and divide each side by 40. Again, remember the 40s here cancel out and we end up with n equals 85. So that means that a little bit less than half of the doctors are women and 34 is a little bit less than half of 85 so that means that our answer is reasonable. Okay, again, if you have any questions, um, something you didn't understand, jot it down in your notes. Ask us tomorrow when you come in class. If not, enjoy the rest of your night. Bye. All right, listen up. Today I want to talk about giving 110%. Giving 100% means giving everything you got. Giving 110% means giving 10% more than is humanly possible. If we're going to win as a team, we need 100% of you guys giving 110% 100% of the time. If only 50% of you guys give 110% and 50% of you guys give 100%, I guarantee you 100%, we'd only win 50% of our games. Suppose 75% of the 110% gave only 50%, and 50% of the 100% gave 25%, and 75% of the 110% were not feeling 100%, then we'd be in a heap of trouble. That's why we need 100% of you guys giving 110%, 100% of the time. Okay. Let's go out and play some hockey.